The first of five powerful explosions came just after one o'clock, shattering windows and cutting off power to police headquarters in the city court. It appears a number of bombs had been placed in two cars, one outside the Russell Street Police Headquarters, the other outside the court. Just when it seemed the danger was over, there were more shocks in store. There was suddenly a very loud and noisy explosion that shook the car as we were driving. Looking up, all I could see was pieces of car flying and dust and black smoke and total confusion with people running everywhere. Virtually had my back to the window when it went off and I was thrown across the room and landed up on the floor over there. It seemed like that doesn't happen here. It's a very strange idea of uh, of how uh, Australia saw itself and how you related to other events in Australia. It was the only time Mum and Dad switched the TV off and they didn't want my brother and I to watch it. There were certainly Australian terror attacks before that. Sydney had the Hilton bombing. In fact, in the 70s there were a few bombings mm. that, you know. Uh, but I think what was unique about Russell Street was as it happened, there, was new, there were news crews nearby and they were there very soon after the bombing happened. Gelignite and detonators were found lying in the street amid the debris. Prisoners in the city watch house were set free. At the same time, there were two further bomb threats, one at the police garage, the other at the city court. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack and police have no idea of a motive. Well, I think that what's happened this afternoon puts us right in the forefront of terrorism as we've seen in other parts of the world and it's disturbing that we've got cowardly people that could only be described as curs. It does open up, a, I think, a new and terrifying dimension in violence. We've never had anything like this before in this state. We've, we've read about and seen car bomb incidents in other parts of the world. I don't think we ever thought we'd see it here. It felt close to home in a way that those things that always felt like if you heard about a bombing it was it was somewhere very very distant on the other side of the globe and to know of something in a place that you're familiar with was a real shock. The government has posted a $100,000 reward, a large amount of money in line with the magnitude of the act. Meanwhile, police are still investigating the scene and a special task force is following up leads brought forward through inspecting intelligence files and phone calls from the public. However, police are urging anyone who may have seen the car after it was stolen or have any other relevant evidence to call their hotline on 667 1515. It just shows, doesn't it? It shows the volatility that does lie around the world. And it's not just, it's not just given to particular countries, right? Or particular types of people and stuff like that. Like this is something open to everyone that kind of violence can happen anywhere.